this video we'll be talking about taking lead acid batteries out of a travel trailer and changing them for lithium ion. So the old lead acid batteries are here on the front tongue. They weigh quite a bit. I'll be removing these and keeping track of where the wires are connected, positive and negative, so that I can rerun these uh, to the lithium ion battery. And the lithium ion battery and the inverter will be placed inside the pass-through uh, where the solar charger already exists. Uh, the wall behind is metal, so I'm able to tap into that using self-tapping screws to mount the inverter and the lithium-ion battery. So with the inverter, I'll mount it on the wall uh, next to the lithium-ion battery shown here. And I, uh, the metal part in the middle is the energy monitor. I've added P-clips that I 3D printed to secure all the wiring. see that again here. Again, that brass thing is the monitor, and here's the monitor inverter switch. I 3D printed a blue box to hold these so I didn't have to cut into the RV wall. You can see it here mounted. Once you have this system mounted and installed, uh, it should work. However, there's a side note that most travel trailers have a converter that will convert AC uh, to DC to charge the battery, and this is great when you're plugged into the wall. Uh, however, if you're going to plug your RV back into the inverter, you need to find this uh, breaker on your uh, control switch and turn it off. So this way you can turn off that converter so your battery is not trying to charge itself uh, while you're running everything. And so far I've been able to run the air conditioning, microwave, coffee maker, it all seems to work. It's running great.